Hey, this is Sean OTD. Welcome back to Is It Worth It? Today, the Kangertech Knee Box. All right, well, um, if you're watching this video, that means that you obviously know the specs, so I'm not gonna bore you with those, as always. Uh, so let's just jump right into some of the fun of the functionality of, of the actual mod itself. It has a single 18650 battery, as you probably already know. You can actually charge it from this, which is nice if you didn't know that already. Uh, most of the time, you have to pull out an external battery and put it in a charging bay and charge it. So that is something that technical that I will throw your direction for someone that's going to pick one up. You pick up a singular, singular battery, you insert it, you leave it in there, you plug it in, and then you unplug it when it's fully charged. Holds 10 mils of juice, which is nice because most bottles are 30 mil, so it's kind of it's kind of okay and lasts you quite a while. So this is what I kind of carry around whenever I'm driving. Um, I did change out um, I changed out the uh, drip tip. It normally comes with a black donut dip drip tip that's about yay tall. I went with this uh, Pure, um, Pyrex, uh, and it's got a little bit of color to it down the bottom. It's a little marbleized. Oh, if you can see that. And I just kind of think it looked a little bit cooler. Um, the fit and finish of it is pretty nice. It's pretty comfortable in the hand. It almost disappears totally whenever you hold it in your hand. Um, all the controls are on one side. You can up and down the wattage. It does have temp control. It does come with a rebuildable deck. Uh, right now I'm just using pre-bay coils. Um, I haven't really messed with the rebuildable deck yet. Uh, but it vapes well and it does have it does not have an adjustable airflow. It has a singular airflow, but it is sub-tank airflow. So, you actually get a really, really good draw off of it, and you can produce some pretty good clouds, and it produces really good flavor. Um, a lot of people complain about, uh, if you set it down, you have a lot of leakage, uh, which is, I've seen other people set theirs down and they have leakage. Usually, um, you know, the experience I've had uh, is the lady that set hers down in the, in the uh, vape shop and she had, kept having leakage. I just flipped it upside down, I pulled it out, and I noticed that her atomizer was no good. She had already burned out her atty, and so we had to replace the coil in there. So when we replaced the coil, filled it back up, set it back down, all good been going through about uh, 20 mils to 30 mils of juice before having to change out a coil, which isn't too bad. That's a full bottle of juice, you know, for, for a singular coil. So that's not too bad. Um, having the external battery is always nice because, well, if battery goes bad in the internal battery, you have to buy a new mod. Battery goes bad in this, you just replace the battery. The only downside to the knee box uh, is it has a built-in tank. So if you happen to break this actual tank, this glass here, then you're hosed, you have to buy another knee box. So that is the downside of it, is that there is no replaceable tank. So I wish that they had an attachment where you could, you know, if you break the glass, that you could have replaceable glass. That's the one thing that would probably fix, of course, add more colors, because that would be a lot more interesting to have green, hello. So, um, outside of that, it's a pretty cool little mod, um, and today I'm actually getting really happy that I'm actually getting to vape my own juice and my own uh, review, so I'm uh, vaping uh, Gorillas in Manila. This thing has been pretty sturdy, uh, getting bumped and thrown around, and I'm not exactly gentle with it, I've just been tossing it. But I like that it's a very low profile. I don't have to worry about the glass having a lot of opening. Enough for me to see how much liquid I have left, but not so much glass that if, I, if it falls over, it's gonna crack the glass. I mean, it would have to literally hit on this one end. And the only thing that you have protruding out is your drip tip. So uh, they do clock in around 80 bucks-ish. Uh, you can find them online, different prices and stuff. If you can get them around, you know, 40 to 60 bucks is totally worth it if you can't get yourself some kind of a deal with with batteries included then 
you know, you have to look at another, you know, anywhere between 10 to 15 bucks for an external battery to put into this. And I don't know if I would consider this a $100 mod or not. So I think it's a great mod, but since it does take an external battery, if you don't have one already, I would try to find one that, you know, that has a lower price point. So definitely shop around and see what you can find. And other than that, yeah, is it worth it? It's worth it for the right price. I would say anything under 70 bucks, 70 bucks or less, yes. Because then you can get a battery and charge it to the, to the port. If you already have batteries and stuff, then okay, you can pay up to 80 bucks because, well, you already have the rest of the stuff you need. As always, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and vape on.